So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and so, uh, Andy said, uh, my name is Randall J.T. Anderson. I'm the uh, commander of Air Strike Group 3, which encompasses not only the Abraham Lincoln and the Air Wing and Hudson Firefighter, but also uh, six uh, cruisers and uh, destroyers, uh, two of which are here in Manila with us, U.S. Florida Bay and the uh, U.S. Express. And I'd like to first welcome all of you on board uh, this flagship of our, uh, of our parish right here. Uh, I'd first like to say that uh, we're extraordinarily grateful to the government of the Philippines and to the armed forces of the Philippines for, for al allowing us to visit Manila and experience this wonderful city. I'd also like to thank the members of the U.S. Embassy uh, for their coordination in making this happen as well. This is the first U.S. carrier foreign port visit in this region in over two years, and I'm proud to say that the first one is to the Philippines. We're thrilled to be here, and we're also thrilled to share this reception with you, and I hope your time on board interacting with our team illustrates just how seriously we take our role in ensuring a free and open enterprise. Our countries have maintained close and cooperative ties for 75 years, and our two peoples have been close friends for far longer. Over the decades, our countries have accomplished so much together, and moving forward, we will accomplish even more thanks to the friendship, cooperation, and mutual support between our two peoples. While deployed, we are operating the most capable and consequential force to protect our interests and the interests of our allies like the Philippines. We do this by providing credible capability and capacity across a myriad of missions from humanitarian assistance and disaster response to high-end combat. And we do it by demonstrating that we will professionally fly, sail, and operate wherever international law allows. We are present in the region to reassure allies and partners of our commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific and to counter malign influence from our adversaries. These freedoms are especially vital in the seas west of the Philippines where nearly a third of global maritime trade and roughly three and a half trillion dollars go through every year. And we cannot ensure these freedoms alone. Our alliance with the Philippines is foundational to our role in the Indo-Pacific. It is a relationship built on shared strategic interests, history, culture, and most importantly, strong military-to-military -military and people-to-people -people ties. Relationships like ours are vital to the security of both of our countries and benefit all nations in the Indo-Pacific. We will continue to strengthen our defense cooperation through multilateral, multilateral exercises like RIMPAC, Southeast Asian Cooperation Against Terrorism, and Komodo, as well as the bilateral exercises like Balakatan. We will also continue to protect our collective interests and safeguard our common values. Thank you all for attending this evening, and thank you for your incredible hospitality during our time here in Manila, as well as your friendship. Please enjoy the rest of your stay on board. I'll uh, now invite the Chardonnay from the U.S. Embassy, Ms. Heather Mariaga, uh, to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Rear Admiral Anderson, Captain Bauerschmidt, thank you so much for welcoming us aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln. It is such an honor to be here with all of you this afternoon. I'd like to recognize a few of our special Philippine guests. We have Admiral Paul Sace of the Philippine Navy, um, Major General Doyong of the Philippine Army, uh, General Rodel Simonia of the Philippine National Police, General Cardinoza of the AFP Health Service Command, Under Secretary Carolina of the VA. We also have numerous distinguished civilian guests, including Associate Justice Rosario of the Philippine Supreme Court, Senator Francis Tolentino, USEC Mark Hoven from the Department of, of uh, Finance, and many others. We have diplomatic guests as well, Ambassador Bofis of the United Kingdom, Ambassador Chung of Vietnam. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. And uh, sailors of USS Abraham Lincoln, colleagues from the embassy here in Manila, aren't we lucky to be here on this beautiful afternoon on, and in this amazing ship to celebrate U.S.-Philippine ties. Uh, we are so fortunate to have the Abraham Lincoln back in the Philippines. Thank you, Captain, for that amazing story about Pinatubo. I was not aware of that. Um, it's just a symbol of the great ties that we have with the Philippines and how partners, friends, and allies uh, work together in times of need. 
It's been several years since we've had a port visit here in the um, Philippines, and we've all gone through a lot with the pandemic since then. So it's wonderful to have the Abraham Lincoln here in Manila and be able to gather in a more normal, in-person fashion. Thank you, Captain Bauerschmidt, for providing this unique backdrop to a host our friends, partners, and allies from the Philippine government, military, and local community. This visit by the Abraham Lincoln demonstrates the strong and enduring relationship between the United States and the Philippines. It is a very visible symbol of 75 years of diplomatic relations between our two nations, and even more importantly, of more than 70 years of our mutual defense treaty. We also love having this carrier visit because it gives us an opportunity to celebrate the very special ties that exist between Filipinos and the United States Navy. It's great to hear about the many Philam sailors eagerly disembarking to meet up with family members that have traveled from all over the Philippines to see them. This extremely impactful port visit has brought families together, provided respite for deployed sailors, investment into the local economy, and showcased the strength of our alliance and diplomatic ties that have existed for more than seven decades. Many thanks to the sailors of the USS Abraham Lincoln who've made this reception a success, and thank you to our Philippine partners for coming out and celebrating with us this afternoon. Maraming salamat. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you.